Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I believe that our Federal Adoptions Incentive Program, which provides financial awards to the states that increase the number of children adopted out of foster care above a certain baseline, is an important part of the effort, the joint bipartisan effort, to try to encourage permanent loving homes uh, for children who are placed in foster care. Uh, these awards are due, and this program is due to expire at the end of September not that far from now, and I'm hopeful that we will be able to work together uh, to reauthorize the program. Under it, adoption incentives, the states become eligible for awards if they increase the number of total adoptions, uh, those for children over age nine that are adopted, and the adoption of children with special needs. The goal of the program is to incentivize and encourage the states to increase the adoptions out of foster care and to quickly move children who are unable to return to their parents into permanent homes. States must reinvest uh, these payments back into services such as post-adoption services for children and families that are generally provided under the child welfare system. Forty-three million dollars is available for the program in this fiscal year. Uh, since the program was created, as the chairman described, more than three hundred and seventy-five million dollars has been awarded, and every state in the country has participated in the funding. Uh, in fiscal year 2011, uh, Texas, my home state, received about $7 million in incentives, the largest amount of any state in the country. Uh, San Antonio has been viewed as a particular model of success. Bear County has been creative in safely moving children into permanent homes. Each month there at the county courthouse, the county hosts an Adoption Day event that allows dozens of families on the same day to complete their adoptions in a single day, and that happens every month. These proceedings have allowed countless children to have shorter stays in foster care and move more quickly into stable homes. I believe that judges in Bear County understand they're responsible for getting children who experience abuse and neglect into a safer foster environment and in addition are responsible for placing that child with a permanent family if it does not become safe for the child to return home. These improvements to the local adoption system, encouraged and utilized by child advocates like District Judge Peter Sakai, who has been a leader in the area over the last decade, and Casa San Antonio have allowed faster and more efficient placement of foster youth into permanent families. We will hear uh, from all of our witnesses finally this afternoon, but specifically uh, uh, I've shared the concern that I believe Nicole Dobbins will be expressing about the lack of clarity regarding how the states use these award payments. I know that some states under budget pressures uh, have tended to use the federal money for perhaps what they had been doing previously, and I think it is important that our federal resources add to, not supplant, money that was already being invested on adoption activities. The inclusion of a maintenance of effort requirement as part of reauthorization could help us ensure that the dollars that are so precious here that we're expending are actually being used to improve and strengthen child welfare. I welcome the opportunity to discuss how we can continue to increase adoptions for children in foster care, but I do think that one step that's important is to avoid any cuts in these modest federally funded adoption initiatives uh, that will occur within just a few days under the sequester. Uh, cutting funding for this program would mean less funding for post-adoption services for families that have adopted a foster child or less funding to recruit adoptive homes through online adoption exchanges and promotional materials or less support for training adoption workers. Another issue that requires our attention this year is the more recent Family Connection Grants Initiative. Uh, it is also scheduled to expire at the end of September. It's provided $15 million each year in grants for state agencies and community organizations. Uh, it's been a more narrow program, but it is designed to connect or reconnect children with their biological relatives when it's safe and appropriate to do so. Uh, this small program, fairly new, created only in 2008, uh, is currently being evaluated, but it looks like a program from the preliminary review that I've seen uh, that could be effective in improving the lives of at-risk children. I look forward to hearing from today's witnesses and working with our colleagues 
uh, to continue to improve the well-being the well of all children in foster care. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank